Senator Caroon, and I am here to be your next governor for the great state of Utah. And welcome to the Calvin Rampton Salt Palace Convention, one of our great former governors. And I want to thanks, give thanks to Herm Olson, McCall Evans, and Josie for their kind introductions. Today, I want to tell you a story. You may have heard of The Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This story is called The Tale of Two States. The first state is superb. The other state requires major changes. The first state is a state with 300 sunny days a year, a state with skiing, biking, hiking, all within 30 minutes of the capital city, a state whose people volunteer more and give more to charities than any other state, a state whose people are diversified and speak many languages, a state with the youngest population in the nation, a state whose major university incubates more new businesses than any state in the United States. A state with more golf courses per capita, and they're all good and cheap. A state that supports the arts and has more pianos per capita. A state with an abundance of energy resources that can help our nation. A state where the quality of life makes its residents the happiest in the nation. The second state, a state where funding per student is the lowest in the nation and 20% below the next lowest state. A state that ranks 21st in the nation based on how much it spends versus its revenues. It's a credit card government whose leaders are putting off tough choices. A state whose high school graduation rates are falling. A state where unemployment has its highest rate in 26 years, and we have the fifth highest bankruptcy rate in the nation. A state whose leaders are more interested in message bills than education, jobs, and the economy, and our quality of life. A state with the highest misuse of prescription drugs. A state where air quality in five of our major cities is amongst the worst in the nation. A state with the second lowest voter turnout in the nation. So let me be very clear as to why I'm running for governor, because I love the first state and I want to fix the second state. I want to make Utah an even better place for this generation and future generations to come. I'm running for governor not because I see politics as a life's occupation, but rather because I see it as a calling in a criti critical moment in time, a time when new ideas, new approaches, and inclusive politics is necessary. Our state has been blessed with a series of strong governors from the era of Rampton and Matheson to Levitt Walker and Huntsman. All were leaders who rose above partisan politics and all had a vision of the central role that a governor must play in leading our great state. We cannot afford to follow it. We cannot afford not to follow in those great traditions, and we must choose our next governor with similar strong characteristics and similar visions. And that is why I am running for governor. I believe with all my heart that I can follow in the tradition of those great governors and that we must move forward in solving our problems and not take a step backwards. But I know my vision of where Utah needs to be does not just happen, you have to fight for it every day. You have to stand up and oppose those who would sacrifice this state for personal gain or political ideology. We have had almost 30 years now of only one voice coming from our state capital, only one voice when it comes to making decisions for all the people of the great state of Utah, only one voice when we look to the decisions critical to future generations, and only one voice who seems to have all the answers and stamps out anyone who does not agree with their way of thinking. 
What happened to the day of a healthy discourse in politics? Now it is just anger and shouting to those who don't share your views. I say that is not right, and that is why I'm running to be your next governor. I am running because our state cannot afford just one voice. We must continue to show our great diversity and great culture. Because Utah needs an independent voice for all its citizens. No one political party owns it. Because good representative government must be transparent and balanced. This country was not built by one political party. Because corporate welfare is not economic development. Because my vision for Utah will bring our state to the next level of economic prosperity. Because Utah can be energy independent by supporting our traditional energy resources and renewable energies. Because we must protect our air and water quality and be responsible stewards of our land. In, the, in this race, I am qualified to be our next governor in the great state of Utah. Governors are not great leaders by just giving speeches, setting up commissions, or making the most popular decisions, or taking the easy way out, or just becoming a manager versus a leader. These tough economic times call for imagination, vision, and proven leadership. And I have those qualities and qualifications. You can't be a rubber stamp in this job, and we don't need an administration that needs training wheels. I have shown the citizens of Utah who I am and that I am willing to stand up for them. Whether it's turning down taxpayer funding for a private stadium or letting a senior citizen know or letting a senior citizen know that our government cares about them. I have been willing to listen and willing to lead. I have been willing to make tough decisions. Leadership sometimes also means disappointing people. It's not a popularity contest. It also means doing what you think is the right thing to do, not what is best for the next election. And with your support, Cheryl Allen and I can win this race. And this is what you can do to help. And I'm getting technological here. Find two friends who haven't joined the campaign and have them text to 88769 the following, Utah and their email address. Text to 88769 Utah and an email address. And pull out your phones and go ahead and do it. <laughs> but we can send the message of co collaboration, cooperation, and inclusiveness. We can win from Cache County in the north to Washington County in the south. We can win from Millard County in the west to Grand County in the east. And we can win in all the other counties that are represented here today. But we need to say right here and right now that all of us are willing to stand up and make that change. We are going to work to create many voices for the state of Utah. We are going to work for change because Utah deserves better in our state house. I am fired up and ready to go. And I know with your support, we will be victorious in November. So are you ready to join me? Are you ready to join Cheryl Allen and me? Well, we are ready to go, so please join us. This space to live.